Is that you're calling about the ad or the text? What that? So you're calling about the ad or the text? What number did you call? What number did you call? What number did I call? Yes. You're calling about the ad or the text? Listen to me. You're calling another business. I called an I didn't call you. You called me. Yes. Are you interested in becoming a mystery shopper and earning extra income? You're calling the wrong number. You just called here before. Yes, we called earlier because you expressed somebody from that number expressed interest in becoming a mystery shopper in the past. They might have got an ad or a text on their phone saying that they can make money as a mystery shopper. And I'm replying, well, I'm guessing that they called you today because they're replying to that person calling here. I didn't know anything, sir. You got the wrong number. You, you got the wrong number. Okay. That is perfectly fine. Are you interested in becoming a mystery shopper and earning extra income? Hey, listen to me, you cocksucker. You got the wrong fucking number. I understand that. I'm asking you a question directly, okay? The wrong goddamn number. Do you understand that? Yes, I understand that this is supposedly the wrong number. All I'm asking you are, are you interested, you as you and the person, are you interested in becoming a mystery shopper and earning extra income? What the fuck part don't you understand? Do you understand that? Question, sir. I'm going to kick your motherfucking ass. Do you understand that? No, that won't happen. That's just a yes or no question. Are you interested in becoming a mystery shopper and earning extra income? You stinking fucking nigger motherfucking cocksucker. What do you, what part of I told you you don't understand? Is that a yes or a no, sir? Wrong fucking number. I know this is the wrong number. How many times are you going to say it before you understand that I know it's the wrong number? Or what you part of I told you you don't understand? Shopper? Do you understand that? Nope, I don't, because you it, tuned in and out. I didn't hear anything. Are you That's a wrong fucking number. Okay, thank you for your time. Have a wonderful day, sir. Fucking bullshit. My name is Vanessa, and I'll be gathering your information to send your catalog today. May I start with your zip or postal code, please? Hello? May I have your zip code or postal code, please? Okay. Listen to me. What number did you call? What number did you call? Hello. You called Lumber Liquidators. I didn't know anything, sir. You got the wrong number. You, you got the wrong number. Thank you for calling Lumber Liquidators. My name is Kathleen, and I'll gather your information to send you a catalog today. May I start by getting your zip code, please? Fuck you, goof motherfucker. You call this number one more time. I don't know where your place is, but I'll be there. I'll find it and I'll rip your fucking head through your ass hole. You understand that? I'm not sure what you're talking about, sir. The wrong goddamn number. Do you understand that? Got the wrong fucking number. Let me help you. And who said you're going to beat my daughter up? I beg your pardon, sir? And I'm not going to put up with any of you people's crap. Who are you? You bunch of lying, no good punks. Oh, really? If you ain't got something nice to say about my daughter, then keep your mouth shut. Who are you, sir? Her father. Well, whose father? I'm going to tell you right now. And I know who it's coming from. And if you come near my daughter... And you'll be reported to the cyber police and the state police. Who are you? Her father. Whose father? I'm her mother. Whose father? You lying bunch of pricks. <laughs> you will have to deal with the police. Well, send them on down. Yeah, my daughter's not lying. Well, that's wonderful. I don't even know who your daughter is. Who is this? I have no idea. Who are you? I don't know who the hell you are. Do you know who you're talking to? Who is screaming at me? Well, you don't know me, apparently. Okay, we're just going to play who is this, who is this. You obviously called me. When you figure it out, give us a call. Have a good day. Fuck you, bitch. How can I help you? Hello? Yes, how can I help you? Uh, I don't know you. 
I don't know you. Do you know who you're talking to? I have no idea. Who is this? Well, you don't know me, apparently. Well, why are you calling here? You're calling here. I'm not calling you. Who is this? Who is this? And who said you're going to beat my daughter up? Say it again. And I'm not going to put up with any of you people's crap. If you ain't got listen, something listen nice here, to I don't know about. what you're talking about. You called in. I just answered the phone, and you're asking me who I am? Who is this? Who are you? Her father. Her father of who? Who are you talking about? If you ain't got something nice to say about my daughter, then keep your mouth shut. I think you need to get your story straight and figure that out before you speak to people who you don't know who you're talking to. You lying bunch of pricks! Something is very wrong with you. I'm going to tell you right now, and I know who it's coming from, and I know who's emailing and who's doing it. And if you come near my daughter, guess what? And you've been reported to the cyber police. And you've got a police. lot of problems, sir. I do not know what you are talking about. Now figure out your story, look into it, get it straight, and go from there. This is from her father. Whose father are you? My daughter is not lying. What are you talking about? Do you know where you're calling? Well, guess what? Because you've done goofed. Do you know where you're calling? I'm asking you a question. Because I backtraced it. I can't understand a word you're you saying. You will be caught and will be found. You will have to deal with the police. That's perfectly fine, sir. I have no idea what you're talking about. Go ahead and do whatever you would like to do. But yeah, go ahead and do it. Don't call me back. Rich. Don't call me back. Do whatever you want to do. You end a conversation from her father. On your free cruise for two, I'm here to help you compliment or help you claim those complimentary tickets. Can I please have your first name? My name's Jesse. I'm calling in regards to the information you ordered about making money on the internet. Oh. Well, Jesse, reach our promotional department here so I can help you claim your complimentary cruise over to Grand Bahama Island. I was just calling you to help you make money off the internet. You had an opportunity to to make an extra five to seven thousand a month. Would you be interested? Okay, so you're trying to sell me your thing and I'm trying to tell you about the cruise? Is that what's yes. going on here? You are interested in doing that then? Um, making extra money on the internet? Not really, no. Yes. With what company? What are for? Are you going to commit to an extra 10 to 12 hours a week to make the extra five to seven thousand a month? On what website? I mean, honestly, who doesn't oh, like no. making money? But, I mean, if you can't give me any details about the company, it's kind of hard to make a decision. How much money are you looking to make? To make? Unlimited. So what would you do with that extra money? <laughs> Probably take a vacation. Would you pay off the bills, go on vacation? What would you do? Right, shop, go on vacation. If I had an extra ten to 12000 bucks a month, I'd probably invest it. Yes. This isn't Jesse, is it? I am. Hello? It is? Yeah? Yes. My name is Jesse, and I'm calling to help you make money off the Internet. Do you want to make money from the Internet? No, I'd rather help you claim your complimentary cruise for two over to Grand Bahama Island. I see how you're making 10 to 12 grand a month you. making money off the Internet. You could probably go ahead and secure your cruise package today, right? Excuse me, I am trying to help you. I'm trying to help you claim your complimentary cruise as well. Well, that's why I called you. Okay, well, let me give you all the exciting details. You and your lucky traveling companion will be boarding our Bahamas Celebrations cruise ship out of sunny Palm Beach, Florida. You'll have the next 18 months to provide your own transportation here to Florida to take your free cruise. So let me tell you a little bit about our cruise ship, the Bahamas Celebration. You'll have your own private inside stateroom. All the food, fun, and entertainment will all be included. Your only out-of-pocket expenses on board the ship will be for any beverages other than coffee or tea, your gratuities, and then, of course, the gambling will be all yours. Now, you'll wake up at your port of call. It is Grand Bahama Island. Now, you're going to love it. It's known as the Jewel of the Bahamas. While you're there, you can go snorkeling, jet skiing, parasailing, even swimming with the dolphins. That is a favorite for everyone. 
You can visit us at our Grand Macayan Beach and Golf Resort, or you could just simply relax on the beach. Doesn't it sound great so far? Yes. Okay, now you can travel any time that you'd like in the next 18 months. Yet their cruise will not be available January 16th to January 31st. Yes. Um, keep in mind that you will be leaving the country, so it is necessary to have either a passport or a birth certificate with a photo ID. Okay. And we do ask that you give us a 60-day notice of the date you intend on arriving, so we can guarantee your travel dates. Now, because you are leaving and entering the country through international waters, all passengers are required to pay a one-time governmental port tax. It is only $59 per person, just a total of $118 today. Isn't that what? fantastic? What? You're cutting Just out. to pay for those well. foreign departure taxes today, we can accept MasterCard, Visa, American Express, or Discover. Which card gives you the best service? Oh, my God. Oh, God. Okay, I can hold while you grab that. You can read the number to me whenever you're ready. Okay. The same number you called me back from, you should know. Say it again. The same number you called me back from, you should know. Your credit card number? Why would I know your credit card number? Do you even know who I am? I have no clue who you are. I already gave you my name. Yeah, you're Jesse. I'm calling from Salt Lake City, Utah. Okay. Who is this? Hello? Okay. Yeah? What's your address? Okay, well, I'd have to get a supervisor on the phone to be able to give you our physical address. Okay. Why would you need our address? What's your name? My name's... You don't want to make money from the Internet? No, I want to sell you a complimentary cruise for two to Grand Bahama Island so I can accept any major credit, debit, or even a prepaid card for the 118 today. What's holding you back from taking advantage of the offer? What is wrong with you? You're not listening. 40. You're right. I'm not going to listen. I'm trying to sell you a cruise. I don't want to make money from the Internet. I make plenty of it here. So would you like to claim your complimentary cruise for two? I gave you all the exciting details. I can get you registered today and a fabulous vacation in your back pocket. What are you talking about? I just gave you all the exciting details. Were you listening to me? I can't hear you very well. Hello? Yes. Is this a recording? No, I'm not a recording. I'm a real life human being. That's why we've had a conversation with one another. And I've explained the details to the crews. Now it's the time for you to go grab your credit card and get you registered. I'll hold while you grab that. Read the number to me whenever you're ready. You're cutting out. I can't hear you very well.